pursuant to chapter 20 of the acts of 2021 and extended again by chapter two of the acts of 2023, this meeting will be conducted by a remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so in the following manner by emailing Steve McCarthy at McCarthyS at AmherstMA.gov. That's M-C-C-A-R-T-H-Y-S at AmherstMA.gov. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. In the event we are unable to do so for reasons of economic hardship and despite best efforts, we will post on the Amherst website an audio or video recording, transcript, or other comprehensive record of proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. And with that done, we'll call the meeting to order at 5.37 p.m. and take a quick roll call. Hallie? Here. Dellen? Here. And I'm here, so three here and two absent. Um, okay, so next up is public comment. Um, unrelated to anything on the agenda, if anyone has such kind of public comment, please raise your hand electronically by pressing the raise hand button at the bottom of the screen. Is there anyone? Did, did I have one? We do have oh, one that was here. me. I think that was me. Or did somebody? Miss um, Cruz, I'll oh, allow hi. her to speak. Okay, Miss Cruz. Hi. Ms. Cruz? It appears she is muted. Oh. Father Valentine was trying to log in. However, okay. he was having problems with it. I'm okay. trying to see if I can. Uh, I don't see. He does that. appear to be in the um, in the audience here. He, he yes. like his hand is raised. Yeah. OK, like, perfect. Yeah, perfect. OK, All right. So, All right. so I'm 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 leaving the meeting if he's there. OK. OK. All right. Sounds great. Thank you so much for letting okay. us know. All right. Okay. All right. So we can move from that to licenses, special short term liquor licenses, SST-24-62, Father Valentine Nora, St. Bridget Parish, October 19th, 6 to 11. 43 North Prospect Street. And Father Valentine. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm all right. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. So you yeah, have I, think, I, I um, guess I'm becoming a familiar face now. You are. <laughs> Second time applying for liquor license. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you all don't think that's all we do here. Drink liquor. <laughs> So this is another um, kind of dinner dance. and Yeah, this is another dinner dance, dance, just like what we did uh, around January this year. OK. And um, can you just describe a little bit about how the alcohol will be handled? Um, it's going to be a cash bar uh, handled by uh, V1 Vodka. So they have um, a waiter who's going to be at the bar. Um, and yeah, they will manage everything. Okay, great. Any questions? Dylan? Kelly? Nope. Um, okay, if there are no questions, is there a motion to approve the short term liquor license for the 19th of October? And a second? I'll second. Thanks. If there's no further discussion, we'll take a vote. Hallie? Aye. Dylan? Aye. And I vote aye. That is three to zero with two absent, and the license is approved. Thank you so much for coming in and hope it goes well. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, so next up we have our, what is it? The, oh, Pictures, Ogawa Bakery, LLC, 174 North Pleasant Street. And is there, oh, there's nobody here for that? I guess not. No? Is there, was there anything strange, like unusual or exceptional? about this one, Steve? That I don't noted? believe so. Um, let me pull that up again. Um, it's for a bakery at um, 174 North Pleasant Street. So I believe that is the former Henyon. Um, mm -hmm. No BYOB requested in hours of 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. except closed on Monday. Okay. So we are waiting for workers comp, but besides that it was complete. Okay, well that's not too bad. I did a Google search to see if they had anything posted or online menu, but there was nothing. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. All right. 
Um, if there are no questions, is there a motion to approve the uh, common Vic for Ogawa Bakery? I'm on. Thank you. Is there a second? I'll second. Thank you. We'll take a vote. Dylan? Aye. Kelly? Aye. And I vote aye. That is three to zero with two absent, and that is approved. So, okay, discussion topics, liquor license application supplement. Steve? I have no update on that today. Um, lunch carts and food trucks. Um, our new regulations have been circulated, um, including to the police department. And um, the police department will be um, looking out for any violations and reporting them to you if so. Okay. So nothing is, no, no activity has happened yet. Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Rental registration and rental appeals process. So I know we're going to talk about this more formally at the next in-person meeting, correct, Dylan? And correct. Yeah, great. So, Steve, I think it was last, just to go over this very quickly, I, I forwarded you a blog post from maybe 10 years ago about the Lincoln property management and the rental appeals. You remember that? Was it last week or the week before? Because I brought it up in the meeting. Yes, I do remember that. Yeah. And it was, do you remember Larry Kelly's old blog? Yeah. Yes. Remember. Yeah. Well, that's still out there. And so this was, um, anyway, it was about something that had happened and the people who were appealing the, I guess the citation were with, allowed to withdraw the appeal for a various reason. But that might be like something we could talk about in the longer discussion next next time. So um, anyway, I'll, I can talk about it then. So is there anything else on this? I don't believe so today. That, and um, if there's anything anybody would like me to get together for the packet um, next meeting, I'll be happy to do so. This is an interesting article. I think that must have been right when the uh, rental registration program began. Yes, it did. And it sounded like it was Rob Mora's like first year on the in Amherst. So yeah, I believe he started right around then. And I was if I dug a little deeper and it sounded like that a lot of the laws, the regulations had been on the books for a while, but they had never been enforced. And so he said he wanted to start enforcing them. And so that was one of the bigger cases. But um anyway we can we we'll, should definitely have that on for the 24th and um I guess liquor license application supplement and any activity on the food truck stuff. I know we will have another food truck application as well. So okay, interesting. Um, great. And anything else to go on the agenda to talk about? Nope. Any All right. any updates on the applicants who've applied to the board? I have not heard anything. No. Yeah, okay. I will double check again with Angela and see if um. I know we had heard there was at least one person who submitted one, so. Okay. Cool. Well, that's good. Right. Be Great. nice to nice to have uh, a few more. Yeah. That, that. Definitely. And we certainly appreciate your uh, stalwart service as we uh, go through our our time of a uh, few, but right. hopefully not for much longer. Right. Okay. So um, topics not reason. So our next meeting. We say this October 24th, 5.30 in person. Um, topics not reasonably anticipated 48 hours prior to the meeting. Anything? Nope. Okay. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. And a second? I'll second. Thank you. We'll take a vote. Dylan? Aye. Kelly? Aye. And I vote aye. That is three to zero with two absent. And we're adjourned at 5.45 p.m. Thank you. See you guys in two weeks. Thank, Thank you. See you guys then. Bye. Thanks a lot, Steve.